Hi guys, today I'm doing a first impressions on the new NARS foundation. This is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I have the shade Stromboli or Stromboli, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but that is the shade that I have and yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. There's been, I guess, lots of hype about it. Um, NARS is such an amazing brand and they've come out with a new foundation, like that's pretty big to come out with a new foundation. Anyway, I'm going to get right into it. Um, as you know, I uh, wear my foundations all day long and show you how I go. So today it's like quarter past 11 a.m., a little bit late, but I'm going to get right into it. Now, it doesn't say to apply primer or not to apply primer, so I'm going to apply primer. Today I'm using the Makeup Forever High Definition Primer. A little bit about this foundation I'm just going to read what is on the box so all day luminous weightless foundation reaches an extraordinary level of perfection with ultra lightweight complete coverage complete coverage you know I like a full coverage and a uniquely fluid silky feel ideal for all skin types and tones it sweeps on weightlessly absorbs quickly and blends easily for an all-day luminous natural luminosity so pretty much it just says Shake well and apply with your hands, your fingers. So that's what I'm going to do. I do have my beauty blender on hand in case I feel like I need a little bit of something else. So this is the packaging. Um, this frosted glass actually isn't too bad. Like how funny is that? It, it's um, very similar to my designer brands one, but this frosted glass is really cheap and nasty and I don't like the feel of it. But this one is actually like really nice and smooth and okay. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, of course, it's got the signature matte black um, lid. And yeah, this is the box that it comes in. Very nice. So I really like the packaging. Um, comes with a pump, which is a bonus. I don't think their Shigo comes with a pump. I think you have to buy the pump. It's quite runny. I'm going to take one pump and I'm going to, it says to work from the center of your face and blend it out. So I kind of did that. I haven't used my fingers to apply foundation in a very, very long time. Let's put it that way. I feel like the, the color match is really good. Um, I wasn't quite sure what color to get. I got mine from Mecca Maxima and um, on foundation compared to my NC35 in MAC. It said I would be this shape, but I wasn't sure whether to get this or Punjab, but I went with this. I had a little bit of help from a friend that works at Mecca. I can't remember like how to apply it using my fingers, but I'm just gonna like rub it in kind of, spread it out. I guess it's easy enough to apply if you can just use your fingers. Now, of course, my face doesn't tan as well as my body. So, like, I mean, the coverage that it's providing is mainly just color matching my face to my body at the moment. But we'll see what it's like when I've got a full layer on and how much it covers and everything. It is drying very, very quickly. It's a, one of the first things I noticed, and it definitely has a matte finish. Definitely. Put a little bit of extra coverage underneath my eyes, around my eyes. I don't think it really reached there enough. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I mean, coverage is... It's just evened out my skin tone pretty much. I don't think it's really covered that much. Like, I mean, I guess it's covered the dark circles a bit. I know, I'm going to apply a second layer. Um, my fingers are actually hurting from applying it because it actually does dry so quickly and it goes matte. So you have to really get in there and work it in quite quickly. So I'm going to apply a second layer. It does feel like really nice and silky and smooth though. Like definitely. Okay, there's the second layer on this side. I can see that the coverage is a lot better. It still looks like a little bit patchy though. So I might at the end go over with the Beauty Blender and see if that kind of evens it out a little bit. Overall, the like the finish of it, I really, really like it. It is quite matte though. So if you're 
if you've got dry skin, I don't know how it's going to be for you, but I do kind of see it lasting a while because it's not shiny or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it on this side of my face, the second layer. Alright, so there's two layers. I'm really happy with how it looks at this point in time. I think it looks really nice. Um, looks a little patchy there on that dot there. I might just go over with a damp beauty blender just to kind of, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit patchy. I don't know, I just feel like it's really patchy along here. But who's to know what it's going to look like when I'm finished all of my makeup. So I'm going to check back in with you after all of my makeup is finished and see how it's traveling. So at the moment, it's about, that took me about 10 minutes to do. So it's 11.24. Hi guys, I'm finished my makeup. I haven't finished my hair yet, but I just wanted to check back with you. It's like 12.44. My makeup took forever. I had technical difficulties in it all with SD cards and everything like that. But anyway, I wanted to check back with you and tell you how my foundation is going. Uh, turns out it's really full coverage. I really like the finish of it. It is nice and matte. I do like a matte finish as well. Um, yeah, it looks nice on the skin. Um, obviously, I've got like highlighter and blush and bronzer on, so it looks nice. But I do like the finish of it, especially because I have oily skin. So I dewy foundations don't tend to work the best on me. Uh, they tend to go oily really, really quickly. But considering I've already had the makeup on for like over an hour, it's like you can already see that it's gone really well. It's nice, sunk into the skin, looks really nice. I wouldn't say it's like flawless over my, like around this kind of area where I have peach fuzz and everything like that, but it's doing pretty good so far. I'm going to do a quick photo test, so to test the flash in it. I don't think that there is any um, SPF in it. That has some mean flashback, like, ho like holy crap, that is some flashback and a half. I don't know what it is in it. But let's take, I'll take another one, like from further away. I'm not going to lie, this flashback. That's disappointing. It looks so, so good, but there's flashback. That sucks. Um, don't know what to do about that. But anyway, I'm going to finish going and I'll see you in a few hours. Hi guys, I'm back. It's later in the afternoon. It's about 4.30. So I've had the makeup on about five hours and I think it's doing extremely well. Like, I mean, you can only see like a little tiny bit of oil around my nose, but that's perfectly fine. Like, it looks so good. It sunk into my skin so well and, um, I'm so, like, I couldn't be happier with it at the moment. Color match turned out perfectly, I would say. Um, I'm glad I didn't go the Punjab because I think that might have been a little bit too light. Um, but, yeah, I think it looks great. Can't even tell that I've had it on for five hours. Looks like it's just brand new. So, yeah, doing pretty good so far. Um, I did forget to say at the start that the foundation is, I think, $64 on Mecca Maxima. So it is a high-end foundation. So if you're going to splurge on a foundation, like you want it to look good. So that's why these first impressions are so well. But just because it works on my skin type well doesn't mean it's necessarily going to work on yours. I do tend to have an oily T-zone. Um, not tend to. I have an oily T-zone. Um, some foundations work really well. Some don't. But this one is holding up fantastic. Um, I'm really loving it so far. Um, I'll check back in like a couple of hours, like maybe 7 or 8 o'clock or something, just before I'm ready to go to bed. Hi guys, it's 8.30pm, so I've been wearing the foundation for like, what's that? For about 9 hours now. So, like I mean, I just want to finish this video so I can like get it up to you guys. But... It's gone like a tad shiny in my nose. I'm not even going to bother touching it up. It looks freaking amazing. It's like gone a little bit shiny, but 
has a bit of transfer when you do that, but it's just touching with my nose has just cleared that up. I cannot believe how good this foundation is. Like, this is, um, this is a wear with my Pro Long Wear, actually. And what was the other one that I tried? There was another one that I tried. This is amazing. This is worth the $64. No joke. Like, I'm so blown away by it. Um, I can definitely see what the hype is about, but this isn't going to be something for you if you don't like full coverage foundations, or um, it might not suit you. If you have dry skin, it might not be enough hydration for you. Um, it might dry out your skin. But for me, with my oily T-zone, I do have normal skin, like pretty much elsewhere, but just around like my nose. Well, some foundations that I have tried have gone like oil slick on me, like the Chi Chi one, and um, there's been a few BB creams that have just gone like crazy oil slick. But, but honestly, I am so glad I've, I've spent the $64 and got this foundation because it's just freaking amazing. I haven't tried the She Glow. I did try the She Glow when I was in Hawaii and uh, I had like a makeup trial, not trial, the guy just put makeup on me and he used sheer glow he was from nars and um i just i didn't like it but i don't think he put he only put like a thin layer on like just one layer i think um and it was just like it just showed everything and i didn't like it so um i think that is definitely one that i do want to try the sheer glow um but i'm so glad that i've tried this new foundation um it's great. I would definitely wear this to um, like events where I need my uh, makeup to last a long time. Perhaps not ones with flash photography. That is a downfall. I don't know why it has flash. I might see if anyone else found that um, it does have flash in it because I don't think that it has or it's meant to have um, SPF in it. Really weird. I can't explain that. But I love it. Oh my gosh. It is amazing. I guess this is what you want from a from a high-end foundation though. Like you want to spend the money and you want to see it last long. You want to see it has a really nice finish. You want to see it match you, um, it color matches you. You want to see everything right. And for me, this is just ticking all the boxes. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on if you've tried this foundation before. Even like the lipstick, like I've eaten and it stayed on and eyeshadow is fine eyeliner is probably not as black some of the eyeshadow is transferred onto it I just I don't have anything else to say because I'm so blown away at how amazing it is so I'm going to take my all of my makeup on because I'm tired I'm ready for bed it's a Saturday night and it's 8 30 and I'm going to bed <laughs> actually I'm probably just going to take my makeup off and lie on the couch and watch Pretty Little Lies but anyway, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked the first impressions. Let me know what you think. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.